Hello and welcome to Creative Biolabs. We are a CRO committed to promoting basic research and pharmaceutical development with our expertise. Today, we are going to introduce stem cells in a new era of cell-based therapies. There will be three segments to this video. First, the introduction of stem cells, including the definition and categories. Then, the applications of stem cells, covering the clinical applications and basic research. Last but not least, the stem cell related services and products provided by Creative Biolabs. The human body is made up of over 200 different types of cells, all of which come from a pool of stem cells in the early embryo. So, what are stem cells? They can be defined by two specific characteristics, which are endless self renewal with no limitations or a maximum number of replications, and the capability to differentiate into any tissue types and cell lines in the body. As shown on the right, a stem cell can replicate itself or differentiate into cells that carry out the specific functions of the body, such as skin, blood, muscle, and nerve cells. With the deepening of scientific research, a great number of cell types are discovered to have the characteristics of stem cells, at least to some extent. Thus, stem cells are further classified in different ways. The most traditional classification of stem cells is based on their potency, which specifies the differentiation potential of stem cells. They are totipotent stem cells that can give rise to an entire organism, pluripotent stem cells that can give rise to all tissues, multipotent stem cells that can give rise to discrete cell types, oligopotent stem cells that can differentiate into a few cell types, and unipotent stem cells that can only produce one type of cells. Stem cells may also be classified according to their origin, there are embryonic stem cells, which are arisen from the inner cell mass of a pre-implantation embryo. Embryonic germ cells, which are derived from primordial germline cells. And adult stem cells, which are found in organs that need a constant supply of cells, such as the bone marrow, blood, skin, adipose tissue, and lining of the gut, and surprisingly, the brain. Stem cells are also commonly classified according to cell surface markers. Many surface markers can help identify individual types of stem cells. This feature aids in separating specific cell types by flow cytometry and other methods to obtain pure cell cultures. Provided here is a list of the common surface markers that help define a specific type of stem cells. Stem cell research is being pursued in the hope of achieving major medical breakthroughs. The application of stem cells in regenerative medicine and disease therapeutics is one of the most exciting advances in medical science today. In regenerative medicine, as shown on the right, stem cells are transdifferentiated into other types of cells and transplanted into the human body for the reparation of tissues and organ anomalies occurring due to congenital defects, disease, and age-associated effects. Based on regenerative applications, stem cells can be categorized as embryonic stem cells, ESCs, tissue-specific progenitor stem cells, TSPSCs, mesenchymal stem cells, MSCs, umbilical cord stem cells, UCSCs, bone marrow stem cells, BMSCs, and induced pluripotent stem cells, iPSCs. Among them, ESCs are from the inner cell mass of a pre-implantation embryo, which can be obtained from in vitro fertilization or nuclear transfer. Tissue-specific progenitor stem cells, mesenchymal stem cells, umbilical cord stem cells, and bone marrow stem cells are from adult tissues iPSCs are artificially generated from somatic cells through reprogramming. For successful regenerative outcomes, 
Transplanted stem cells must survive, proliferate, and differentiate in site-specific manner and integrate into the host circulatory system. The potential applications of the six types of stem cells in regenerative medicines are shown here. ESCs can be applied to improve spinal cord injuries, treat cardiovascular disease, liver injuries, etc. Tissue-specific progenitor stem cells can be applied to treat diabetes, neurological diseases, and cancer. Mesenchymal stem cells can be applied to treat bladder deformities, dental problems, and muscle degeneration. Umbilical cord stem cells can be applied to treat diabetes and immune diseases. Bone marrow stem cells can be applied to treat AIDS, neurodegenerative diseases, and blood cancer. IPSCs can be applied to treat liver and lung diseases, diabetes, and neurodegenerative disorders. In conclusion, the therapeutic use of stem cells has great potential in terms of treating severe injuries or chronic disease conditions in a state where body's own regenerative responses do not suffice. In cell-based therapies, stem cells may play two roles. The first one is as a drug delivery vehicle. Stem cells can be used to deliver prodrug converting enzymes to facilitate the local conversion of a non-toxic prodrug to its active cytotoxic form. The tumor tropic nature of stem cells is also being leveraged to deliver apoptosis inducing drugs to highly aggressive brain tumors, non-small cell lung cancer, and pancreatic cancer. Oncolytic viruses exploit tumor-associated changes in cell surface markers and cellular proliferation pathways to selectively kill cancer cells. However, oncolytic viruses may initiate an interferon response, triggering antiviral immune mechanisms, which may limit their effectiveness. Packaging of oncolytic viruses within stem cells can be used as a Trojan horse delivery approach to shield the oncolytic viruses from physiological mechanisms that may limit their biodistribution and, thus, effectiveness. The image on the right shows that stem cells are engineered as delivery vehicles to help increase the biodistribution of chemotherapeutic agents, apoptosis-inducing drugs, or oncolytic viruses to tumors. Stem cells' second role in cell-based therapies is serving as therapeutic agents. Adoptive cell therapy using engineered T-cells that express either antigen-specific T-cell receptors or chimeric antigen receptors has been explored for several decades. Applying TCR and CAR technology in stem cells in an effort to increase the longevity of antigen-specific immune responses broaden its application and success in treating HIV and solid tumors, and create off-the-shelf antigen-specific cellular therapies. Stem cells may also serve as therapeutic agents by overexpressing neurotrophic factors, chemokines, anti-inflammatory molecules, angiogenic factors, and other molecules that aid in recovery and endogenous repair of tissues. Stem cell gene therapy is currently an intense area of clinical investigation as a treatment option for inherited hematological diseases, primary immunodeficiencies, and leukodystrophies. It involves the isolation and transduction of autologous stem cells carrying a mutated, disease-causing gene with a viral vector containing a wild-type copy of the gene to provide a functional replacement. Ex vivo gene editing of stem cells can target endogenous loci to override or correct genetic mutations. Here we show the example of stem cells as drug delivery vehicles to treat cancer. The approaches include enhanced delivery of chemotherapy, targeted induction of apoptosis, delivery of oncolytic virus, and delivery of immune checkpoint inhibitor. There are six cases in clinical trials. These are examples of stem cells for induction of antigen-specific anti-tumor immunity. 
they involve the application of TCR and CAR technologies and hematopoietics themselves, adipose MSCs, and iPSCs. Most of these cases are in preclinical development. Here are examples of genetically edited stem cells in clinical trials and preclinical development. Gene editing methods used here include CRISPR or Cas9, ZFN, and TALIN. Three ongoing phase one or two trials are testing gene editing in autologous HSCs to disrupt the expression of the BCL11A gene to treat patients with beta thalassemia and sickle cell disease. A phase one clinical trial for ZFN-mediated CCR5 editing in CD3 positive HSCs from patients with HIV is also ongoing. Stem cells also provide opportunities for scientific advances that go far beyond cell-based therapies. First of all, they offer a window for addressing many of biology's most fundamental questions. Stem cell research helps to clarify the role genes play in human development and how genetic mutations affect normal processes. Secondly, they can be used to study how infectious agents invade and attack human cells investigate the genetic and environmental factors that are involved in cancer and other diseases, and decipher what happens during aging. Last but not least, stem cells may also revolutionize traditional chemical medicine. Because embryonic stem cells can continue to divide for a long period of time and produce a variety of cell types, they could provide a valuable source of human cells for testing drugs or measuring the effects of toxins on normal tissues without risking participants' health. Stem cells could be particularly useful for testing drugs for disorders that are of genetic origin. For example, it is difficult to study the progression of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases in the brains of live patients, but by using the cells of patients with Alzheimer's to create stem cell lines, Scientists could trace the development of the disease in a culture dish and test drugs that regenerate lost nerve cells without endangering the patient. Creative Biolabs is dedicated to facilitating the research of stem cells in both basic science and therapeutic development. We offer stem cell basic research focusing on iPSCs and MSCs. Our services also include organoid development, 3D bioprinting, and custom stem cell assay development. Our therapy development services cover the disease-specific stem cell therapy development for cardiovascular diseases, neurodegenerative diseases, autoimmune diseases, etc., iPSC-derived cell therapy development, and stem cell-facilitated drug discovery. Engaging the most advanced technologies in tissue engineering and gene editing, Creative Biolabs offers human pluripotent stem cell models for the cardiovascular system, nervous system, and ocular system research. Here are the lists of our disease cell models. Creative Biolabs focuses on developing first-class products and technologies to meet the needs of stem cell research and development. Please contact us if you are interested in our services or products.